I am Brianna and welcome to My Life on Paper, where paper and pictures tell my story. Welcome back to 31 Days of Cut Files with MK and Janet. Here is today's cut file. Um, and I have a picture of when we saw Motley Crue earlier this summer. Um, right now, when I'm trying to kind of figure out what, where things are going, I'm not realizing that's a big light bulb on the right hand side of the page. Um, I do realize it later when I bring it back in. Um, I just use some papers in my stash. Um, I liked kind of the, um, I don't know what you would call the background page, but it's just, it's not solid. It's just got kind of a pattern to it. And then the paper underneath it uh, was something in my stash with some musical notes on it. So I thought those went good together. I am taking out this Nouveau Mica Mist. It is in crimson velvet. And I just made a circle and I just did it to the best of my ability. And I like the way it's splotchy. So you'll see me take the cut file and go, yeah, that looks good. And then I'm going to pull it away and then I'm going to go, what does it really look good? Because it looks really light. And I'm going to put it back and I'm going to say, yeah, I really like the way that looks. So um, then I will let it dry and then I'll come back in with the cut file. Um, I'm going to get some glue, my, my barely art glue, which I love this little, the, you know, the tiny tip nozzle so that you can get right on the, on those thin lines of the cut file. And I don't worry about like gluing the whole thing down I will go around like at least one piece all the way around um but I know I can always add in more glue later so I right now it's just about getting you know a solid line all the way around and then I'll go back in later if I need to get anything little pieces stuck down I kept this in real time and didn't speed it all up um normally I look for like about a 10 minute video give or take and um, with using the cut file that takes up the whole page, it really uh, lessens the time that it takes to put a, a layout together. You don't need as much embellishing. So, um, and I love, I love me a good simple page, especially, especially when I haven't had a chance to scrapbook uh, that much the, for this month of August. So here I've figured out that that is a light bulb. And then now when I tuck that beneath, be, behind there, I didn't like the way it looked with uh, the light bulb just having a little bit of stuff behind it. So I'm going to, and I don't know why this is different, but I'm going to put that side above the layout and I'll tuck it on, on the other side where the gears are. Um, I don't know if anybody else kind of does this crazy kind of little thing or not, but that's the way my eyes, eyes were seeing it. So that's the way I wanted to lay it out. So... It just made more sense for me to um, get the gears overlapping a little bit on the left-hand side and then the picture overlapping the light bulb on the right-hand side. And as I'm playing with the, the layout or putting it or the cut file and putting it down, I'm noticing that there's different pieces not popped out. And that's, oh, this one didn't cut perfectly, so I just kind of give it a little bit of a trim um, and that you can't tell that it was a rough cut at all. So I will, and then I'm staring at this picture going, that looks crooked, but in a second I straightened it out. <laughs> but I will uh, take my ATG to adhere the photo down. There we go. There it is looking. Whoop. Get it in the right spot, then glue it down quick before it moves. And that one piece of chain is kind of sticking up. So I will go in with my Barely Art glue to, to glue that down. Now be careful. Uh, when you're doing this because, you know, gluing right over the photo isn't always a good, good idea. Um, it, it does not need to be reprinted. It, I wiped it right up and it is totally fine. Uh, but yeah, not the smartest move on my part. All right, so once I get that done, then I can work on embellishing. And these are stickers. I just have a few left. So I'm going to pull these off. Um, and the, I'm noticing... Uh, I think those were reminisce. I'm noticing that the layout I did recently with the P13 um, items, it has that kind of that similar green out. So, and I still have the P13 banners on my desk. Oh, here's wings. I don't know what wings has to do with like heavy metal rock and roll, but uh, it seemed, it seemed to be, <laughs> it needed to get on a layout. So this is the layout it's going on. This is uh, a, a reminisce. Let me see. I've got it right here. Yeah, this is reminisce that rock star. So that brings a little bit of the red in. It is from Musicality. 
there's a whole bunch of die cut stickers but this is the p13 so i just pick out two i think i'm going to use the orange and the green and then you can see how nice it matches with the star right there but i'm going to move that a little bit i don't like the way that's sitting there and then i there's a couple more stickers from that uh sticker collection from the star one and i'm going to find that in my stash in a minute but this is just a patterned piece of paper and I cut out, I like the way this kind of the orange matched with the orange. I'll go ahead and glue those banners down. Below in the description box, I will have the playlist for the 31 Days of Cut Files. And you can see what everybody else is doing. Um, the cut file is smaller if, if you bought it from the store and didn't get the digital download. I did make it um, as big as I could make it on my Cricut, so that was fun. So here you can see me gluing down uh, that ticket, and then I will trim off the ends of the tags there. And I do save those. I don't know. That might be crazy, but I can still even fishtail banner those and or fishtail those and uh, use them on a different page. Or I thought about using them on this one, and I didn't. Here's where I find the other star that goes in there, so that ties in the orange again. And then I find the same orange and it's a, a, a staff, so a musical staff. So I put that in between the wings. I knew I was going to do something with that. I just didn't know what. And I, I figured that was kind of perfect to go there. I will pull out some um, shad knee wood veneer pieces. Those are notes. I had gotten those. Those are She's on Etsy. And I got those a while ago, but she has all sorts of fun things. Um... In her shop and if it's not already listed down in my favorite supplies I'll I'll add it on there I haven't even gotten them out yet but I'm getting ahead of myself I do put some adhesive foam adhesive tape uh, behind that musical staff so that gives it a little bit of height and then doing some thinking here oh this is when I take out that same nouveau mist and I was like it needs more so not even covering the photo I just go around and you can see I didn't go on the left part of the, the cut file because of the photo being there, but I just was kind of like, yep, going to give it a little bit more color over top of the cut file. Here is the Shadney wood veneer. It's those um, uh, musical notes. And I pick out three that are kind of digital looking. They're kind of like pixelated looking or like Lego looking. Um, but I'm just going to use one of the, each of these in my clusters, and I'm just going to use my Barely Art glue to glue them down with that nice fine tip. The last thing I will do is get out some gems, and I got to tell you, it'll take me a minute to get this out, but I'm not sure where I got them from. It could have been from Amazon, and they're not a perfect match to the layout, but once I found them in my stash, I was just like, I've got to use these. <laughs> I don't often get the, the that feeling, but um, the orange ones went nicely. If they had different sizes of the orange ones, I probably would have used just orange. I, I don't know why I just didn't have, I, I didn't use all the orange ones, but um, I picked out these blue ones, which are more blue than the green, and I, I don't know, they don't necessarily match, but I used them anyway. And then I'll use the light green ones, which kind of do go. So, um, I don't know. It's kind of odd, but uh, it's just a little bit of glitz to my page there. Um, so, please feel free to leave me any comments, questions, or what have you down below. And then, I'm not sure when I'll be back, but um, you, soon for sure. It might be tomorrow. It might not. I hope you have a fabulous day. Thank you for hanging out with me today and come back and see me again soon. Mm -hmm.